All right, welcome back to the channel. I have something very exciting to share because it is basically cutting edge news right now, which is OpenAI has made some significant updates and now is going to let you build your own GPTs inside of ChatGPT. Just got access to this. I've been playing with it for a few, but I wanted to jump on here and share because it is super exciting. So what you're gonna be able to do when you have a paid account is get access to this function. I'm gonna show you how it works so you can get a peek inside. Definitely gonna be spending a lot of time on this and I'm gonna show you why. So up here in the left-hand corner of your ChatGPT account, if you have access right now, it should say basically this button here called Explore. And when you click on this, then you'll be able to get access to creating your own GPTs. So what I've already done, just to save time here, you can see that it's already on the page here, access to this one, because this is where all your GPTs are going to be saved. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one so you can kind of see what I have done, okay? So inside of this, I have created my own GPT here that I called SEO Sage. And I wanna show you how cool this is. I have built it just very quickly, just to demonstrate it here, just to show you, it's like having my own chat GPT with specific programming and functions that are related to operations that I want. Now we're used to doing this with ChatGPT and that filling in all that background information and we have to kind of keep it going on and on in order to keep these operations flowing smoothly. Now we could just take that entire operation about let's say helping me generate SEO optimized content and then have it in its own location with its own instructional sheets and background information. So I'm gonna show you how that works in a second, but I just wanna show you what the screen looks like here. So we've got here, we, we've built it, and of course it created this called SEO Sage. It is an SEO expert for content optimization by Johnny Smith, right? So I created that, and this is my own GPT, and I have a couple of simple prompts out here to begin with. How do I optimize an article? What's a good SEO title, et cetera? And, but what I do wanna do is I want to give it a URL and I want to have it do its magic for me. Take a look at this article and give me tips on how to optimize it. And then I'm gonna drop this URL in here. Now, you see that there's also the pin here where I can upload a document, okay? But right now I could also just drop this URL in here and then send the message. Now what it's gonna do is it is going to pick an application you see here browsing with Bing. It's actually gonna go to that URL and it is gonna analyze that content and against the information that I had inputted, it is gonna use that information to evaluate this content. So SEO Sage, my personal GPT, is now going to be giving me recommendations for these functions here, okay? For improving all of these things. Now, when you create your GPTs, they can be more global. They could be working on just generating SEO optimization, for example, or whatever function you wanna do, or you can break it down into specifics. So for example, if you wanted to create a GPT just for keyword optimization, a one for just following Google's EAT principles, then you can do that and feed it the information that you want and then you will literally have your own AI specified for each one of those operations. Literally, the sky's the limit. This is insanely exciting, okay? Now, of course, the tokens have gone up as well, so you can feed much more information. I believe the outcome is to get up to 128,000 now versus the usual, what, just over 4,000 that we were seeing with ChatGPT. So this is going to be a massive game changer here just in the next couple of weeks. So here, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm actually gonna bounce out of this. And I'm gonna go back to the explore function. And this is the page for how to create one. So there are ones made by OpenAI that you can of course take a look at, but I want you to jump up here and we're gonna go to create a GPT. There are a couple of options here. Number one, you can just have it create it for you. Basically just having a regular dialogue like you would in ChatGPT to help it, for it to help you build your GPT and it will have a conversation ongoing in order to optimize it. Those of us who are gonna be a little bit more wanting to control things and have a little bit more uh, in specificity in terms of what we want, we can go to the configure tab. Now here you have a couple of options. 
Number one, you could stick an image there, right? We can name the GPT, put a short description in. As, of course, these will be aspects that are going to um, help it with discoverability if you're going to share your GPT for other users to work with, etc. But I'm just going to be building some for myself right now. So here we have instructions. We can tell the GPT what it should do, what it should not do, how it's going to behave, any little details that we want. There are conversation starters here. So these are some of those things like you had saw earlier. For example, you know, help me draft a good SEO title, blah, blah, blah. So knowledge base is probably one of the most crucial elements. So we can input all sorts of files for referencing what we want the GPT to use in order to help us, right? So if you're making content, you're writing blogs and so forth, then what you're going to want to do is upload files about writing blogs. Like, for example, what I would do is I would go source high-quality documents, PDFs, that detail, high, highly detailed documents about how to do certain operations. So, for example, if I wanted to follow Google's EAT principles, then I would go find Google's documentation on this and I would upload it in here so that the GPT is going to use that information to help improve that aspect of my content. So no matter what it is that you're doing, you want to upload the files to create specific references for developing those uh, operations that you want. We have different capabilities here. We can do web browsing, Dolly, image generation, and use code interpreter. Okay, So if you don't want it to do web browsing, you can uncheck that, for example. We have extra actions here, and this is going to take a little bit of time to figure out how valuable these things are in certain contexts. But for example, if you needed to get weather data, you could specify the root URL over here on where you want that data to become from, okay? So retrieves current weather data for a specific location. So just think about the possibilities of this kind of specificity, okay? So there's going to be a lot of things that you can do in here with these additional actions. But once that's done and you set up your GPT, then over here, we're going to be able to interact with it. And you saw what I did earlier, right, which was to actually have a screen or have that sidebar where all my GPTs are available. So if I go up here afterward, the GPT it needs to have a name. So let's just go um, miscellaneous. And let's see if I can see that drop down. So this is the operation up here that's going to say, you know, I could publish it only to me only people with a link so I can share my GPT to other people or I can make it public where other people can find it as well. Now you can see where this is going. There's going to be a marketplace on this. You're going to be able to share it with other people. There's going to be a whole lot of upgrades coming very soon with this. So this is just extraordinary. I'm really, really looking forward to this. And of course, I'm going to be using it for content creation, streamlining all of my work and uh, making some really awesome GPTs to just absolutely crush it in this space. So I hope you have access to this soon. If you like this video, of course, you'll like to see more of these updates and you wanna see me actually start creating some more of my own GPTs and I'll share a few of those. Make sure you like this uh, video, comment down below, and of course, give me recommendations on what kind of GPTs you think are gonna be super valuable and we're gonna get on this. But that's an intro and uh, I hope you like this video, of course, subscribe to the channel and we'll see each other very soon.